All right, so beginning of a new week, uh, Monday. I think uh, today's March 18th. Yeah, St. Patty's Day was yesterday, obviously, so it's 18th. So uh, we have a couple things to talk about. Uh, so let's start off first with more Borderland teasing from the people over at Gearbox. Um, what they're teasing, who knows at this point. Uh, the, some of the things I hope they're teasing is um, Borderlands 3, obviously. And the other thing they're probably teasing is Borderlands 2 for the Switch. It seems kind of obvious. I mean, it's been on every console. Uh, even the Vita, I think, up Borderlands 2, or at least Borderlands 1. You know, if they're going to bring it to the Switch, maybe they do a Borderlands 1, 2, like, combo pack. And that might be worth buying it if they're on one physical thing uh, for me. Otherwise, it'd be like, eh, I'd pass. So, you know, we've got a couple more days until PAX East. And hopefully then we'll finally know. Hopefully it's Borderlands 3. Um, Borderlands 2 would be okay. All right, so next, let's move past that. Really, Borderlands has been out for so long now. We just need 3 to come out now. Yes. Okay, so next, Splatoon. So, Splatoon 2, um, I'm not really sure what Nintendo's worried about or what their planning is, but uh, I think it starts this week. They're doing a free trial of Borderlands. You can play online, uh, level up, and save the game and move all the files over to a actual copy if you decide to purchase. And if you purchase during the demo trial period, you get 20% off on eShop if you for the game on Splatoon 2. Uh, that's cool. I think they're trying to get more people to play the game to maybe, you know, add more content or something. It's a good game. I like it. Enjoy it. It's fun. Uh, it seems kind of weird that now they're trying to sell the game. Uh, did it not do as well as they hoped? Hopefully that's not the case. And hopefully it's just them trying to like squeak out a little bit more money on the game before they decide to maybe announce a new one or come out with more content. Uh, yeah. Hey, you know what? Discounted games, you know, free trials. Thank you, Nintendo. You know, that should happen more often. Um, so, yeah. So, go try Splatoon 2 if you haven't tried it yet. It's a great game. I liked it. Never played it for the Wii U, but the one for the Switch. Uh, it's definitely my type of uh, online competitive game. So, yeah. Splatoon 2. All right. So, Sega has been kind of busy. Uh, they've been uh, announcing... A couple of new details about their games for uh, Sonic uh, Team Racing. And we'll talk about that in a couple seconds. But first, they announced that they are working on a new Sonic Mainline series. Uh, new entry in the, like, the main part. Uh, that's nice. Um, I'm kind of hoping that, you know, if it's 2D or 3D... Um, I hope it's 2D because I really like Sonic Mania, and if it is 2D, I hope the people behind Sonic Mania are working with Team Sonic and everything, and the team behind the new mainline game. If it's a 3D Sonic, you know, I'd like to see them maybe just go back to Sonic Adventures three, uh, Sonic Adventures, and make like a third one, and kind of like take that game one and two, or one and two, and kind of like just modernize it and not go too far off that formula. Just fix some of the things that might not work today. Hopefully they're not trying to start from the ground up because it's been so long now that Sonic games have kind of like real hit or miss. And usually the hits aren't like hits. It's like, yeah, okay, it's passable, it's fun. Um, but yeah, hopefully they're also looking at Sonic Mania 2. Uh, I would like to see that 2D Sonic again. I really enjoyed it, it was fun. Uh, if it is a 3D Sonic, hopefully, you know, it comes out well. And then Sonic Team Racing, or Team R, um, kind of weird. So the trailer looks nice, but all I kept thinking was Sonic All-Star Transform Racing, or whatever they call it. Uh, that was a fun game, which seems like that's really was a good racing series. Why are they trying to bring back an old name? Or are they trying to use that as like a way to sell the new game? It just seems like... All-Star Racing was good. I really liked that one. That one was really fun to play. It just seems like they could have just kept going with that series instead of trying to reuse an old name and sell it. I don't know if they're just hoping that it's different enough than All-Star Racing that it should have used an old game name, or is it going to be really different than just straight-out racing? So, 
don't know. It looks... The graphics look nice, but it doesn't really look much different than, like, All-Star Racing looked. Um, so, I don't know what Sega's doing. Like, I'm going to try it out. I really liked Transform, and it was fun. I was kind of hoping for a sequel to that, and then R comes out, and it's like, why are you trying to revive a name from 20 years ago when you have a racing game that's doing well? I guess maybe it wasn't doing well enough in sales that they're hoping to now take those transform racing players over and then try to bring back some nostalgia for other players. I don't know. Guess we'll have to wait and find out. Um, maybe a better trailer will come out soon showing like all the features of the game that will make it different. And then we'll know more then. All right, so let's move on. All right, so this kind of gaming related, I mean, I guess it is gaming related, uh, but not much of a news, but I just thought it really looked cool and I kind of liked it. So uh, Sony's coming out with a new controller, limited edition controller, I guess. Um, green and white. Like the green, um, like a green controller I really wanted to be that much into. Uh, but it's like a forest green they're calling it. And just the white bottoms and the, and the white um, buttons and everything really make the controller look pretty cool looking. And I don't know if other ones have that same type of two-tone, but I really like that. And I'd like to see them do more of those. Um, I don't have many limited edition controllers. And for the PlayStation 4, I don't have any at all. Uh, usually, I buy whatever goes on sale, and that's what I get. But this does look nice, and I'd like to see like a red one or a blue one as well. So hopefully, Sony starts dipping their toes more in, into it. Because I only have two controllers, and I feel you should always have four. You know, good for partying. So yeah. On to the last bit. So, Nintendo. Um... Wednesday, they're going to be doing a little indie sh showcasing. Um, you know, it's not a direct, but it's long. So it's going to be 30 minutes. Uh, I think it's 9 a.m. on Wednesday, Eastern Time, maybe. Yeah, I think it's 9 a.m. Eastern Time. Nine a.m. Pacific, twelve a.m. twelve p.m. Eastern time. Uh, so, yeah. So Wednesday should have some good news. Thirty minutes. Uh, that's a long time for just showing indie-related games. Uh, I would imagine they wouldn't show something other than indies. But thirty minutes. How many games could they possibly show? Uh, who knows? I don't really follow the indie scene too much. Uh, if I see a cool trailer pop up. I like it. I don't really think of it as being, oh, that's indie, that's AAA. It's really, oh, that game's look good. That game looks good. Or it looks bad. It really doesn't matter too much to me what it is. So I'm going to watch it and hopefully find some good trailers. And then we can talk about it on Wednesday. Uh, I don't even know what to expect because I don't really know what I consider an indie title. So, yeah, 30 minutes. I would imagine 30 games at least. A minute a game. half 30 seconds a game. I'd say at least 30 titles, maybe even more. So, Nintendo, I'm, li I'm glad you're showing some more stuff. Um, let's look forward to that day. All right, guys, uh, I think that's it. Just a quick little video talking about, you know, the recent news. Uh, you'll definitely hear more on Wednesday about anything that pops up then and maybe even sooner. All right, guys, thanks for watching. Uh, if you like the video, click subscribe, like, share. Uh, if you didn't like the video, that's unfortunate. Uh, Alright guys, have a good night. Keep on gaming. And uh, check out my other videos.